In this video, I try to demonstrate that you can take the effect of uh, drawing in Sparkle and change it to an effect of painting by using the free Inkscape program that's available on the internet. Uh, as you can see by this quick demonstration, uh, it's giving a bit of a paint effect rather than draw. In order to achieve this, I opened Inkscape and then I went searching and found the drawing that I was going to use. In this case, it was a cabin, as you saw before. I simply import the picture of the cabin into Inkscape, embedding the file, uh, which you would have seen in one of my previous videos. Okay, as you can see there, that's actually an A4 page size there. I'm going to enlarge this to make it a little bit more user-friendly for this demonstration. The next thing I'm going to do is go up to Object and open the Fill and Stroke box, which you see just appeared to your left or to your right, sorry, uh, and I'm going to select the picture and reduce its opacity slightly so that when I do the strokes I can see them a lot better. And then I'm going to select the uh, Bezier tool, Bezier tool and do a simple stroke. As you can see that stroke is now on there and it has a width of 4. What I want to do is change the width of this stroke to be more consistent with the paintbrush. And I'm going to change it to a width of about 15. Just see. Uh, yeah, that's about the width of the paintbrush. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is double click on the Brazier tool and it will bring up the Inkscape preferences box. As you can see, the default was 4. If I take, I've got the uh, actual stroke still selected, so I'll take from the selection, it's now changed it, so everything I do with this stroke from now on will be a width of 15. But I have my uh, Brazier tool set at the right stroke size, I'm going to select the Brazier tool again now, and I'm going to put one stroke as far up the tree, because I want the tree to be my first drawing, so I'll do it right up the centre of the tree. Uh, as you can see, I've got one straight line. Now all I'm going to do is add nodes with the nodes tool, and start changing the direction of that uh, to give the effect that the brush is moving to and from the screen. Now, as you can note here, you've got curves and lines. If we go back to the fill and stroke box and go to stroke style, uh, we can make all of the ends of the corners and that rounded. As you can see back here now, uh, we've got a rounded style, which is probably more preference for the broken than the straight. And we go as close as possible to the edge of the tree as we can. And we can do many different things in this direction. And we just keep adding nodes and consistently filling the tree as we go. I'm just going to pause now and do quite a bit of this work uh, without you having to walk. See, I've done a fair way up the tree at this point in time. Now, one thing to note about this is that the, you've got to make the stroke pass and the width of the stroke actually... Uh, cross over the previous stroke so that there is no gaps. If you leave gaps, you will end up with gaps in your painting which you might need to fill later. Not a big deal, but you can actually improve this going up the tree quicker by um, increasing the width of the stroke because of the nature of the tree. Now the next thing we can do, and I'm going to leave that one stroke there to demonstrate, is all we have to do is with this stroke selected is make it invisible. Okay, and we save the file. I'm going to put it under Contundra because that's where it belongs. I'm making a bit of a child story here. And uh, you can see I had my original cabin. I'm going to make this one cabin three as the demonstration and go save. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is in Sparkle is select cabin three. No, hang on. I've selected the wrong one. Move. Uh, SVG cabin three using the image and as you can see you can't see it. One thing I haven't done is change the original drawing's opacity back to full screen but we'll quickly demonstrate what happened now with those strokes that we just did. As you can see it started painting so we'll just go back to uh, Inkscape, we'll select the picture, change its opacity, we'll go save, we'll go back now to Sparkle, we'll change the image, we'll just refresh that Using the image, we've now got a proper image. Now the next thing we'll do, uh, we'll increase the seconds a bit, a bit more time. 
uh, we're going to change the hand to a paintbrush. Mr. the paintbrush. There it is. Double click on that and bring it up. We've now got the brush. Now let's just see what happens with extended time of the frame. As you can see, we're starting to get a bit of a paint effect rather than a draw effect in Sparkle. Okay? Um, and basically, as you fill the whole drawing in with different scribes, you end up with what we did before. We'll just bring in my original drawing, use the image. Uh, there's that one there, and do it on 15 seconds, and we can end up with an effect like this by doing different strokes. Now, of course, I would change the pen in this case to a, to a paintbrush. Hope that gives you a different thought process in regards to using the Inkscape to have a different technique in Sparkle and changing your techniques as you go.